Hi, my name is Meredith. I am a family nurse practitioner and a new mom to a seven week old little girl. Um, I was previously using the Spectra S9 pump and loved it. It worked out really well. Uh, it was portable so I could walk around and do things. The only problem I had was that I would leak some milk because the, the twisty part of the uh, bottles was not you know, waterproof. And so I saw the Willow pump online. And as I'm sure you know, by the um, description of the video, I'm going to be opening the boxes that I ordered for this new Willow pump. And uh, then I'll do a first impressions after I pump the first time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I ordered the pump. That's what's in this box. I also ordered um, a full set of the bags, so 48 bags, uh, and then an additional charger because I read online that it only comes with one charger and you can only charge one of the pumps at a time. It's two separate uh, pumps for each breast. So I bought an extra charger, so that'll be helpful. And then I also uh, saw that they have these new milk containers as well because my concern with the bags is that they cost uh, upwards of 50 cents a bag. And if you're pumping a couple times a day and you use two bags a time, uh, that can really add up. So I thought um, that it would be more economical to get these um, milk containers. Uh, but I also got bags just in case, so um, I could use those if I wanted to. So there's that. Let's go ahead and open this box here. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. Um, it's covered in plastic, so it's sealed, which is good. That's very um, sanitary. Uh, I'll go ahead and cut into this plastic wrap here. So supposedly, if you don't know this, um, pump is supposed to be really quiet. It's supposed to be really quiet as well. Uh, so you could pump anywhere. It says on the top that it goes where you go. Uh, all day battery life. Um, on the website I believe it says that after a full charge it, you can pump five sessions. So that's good. It says it's quiet. You can pump and pour with the milk containers or pump in store with the bags. Um, there's just a few parts that you have to clean and then supposedly you can pump in any position without spilling anything. Um, now one thing that I have noticed is that it says, I don't know if it's going to be spill proof with the containers. It might just be with the bags, um, because that's the only guarantee that they make on the website and on all the literature that I've read. So I will be testing that out for sure. And um, I will plan on uh, coming back and doing a um, review as well once I've used it for a while. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Let me see if I can. Okay. Um, on the box, it says, once you break this seal, you can't send it back. So there's a little seal right here and it says, if you break the seal, you can't send it back. So I don't plan on sending it back. We'll go ahead and open it here. Um, my husband is trying to keep my baby occupied. So if you can hear her crying, that's him trying to comfort her. <laughs> um, okay. So first impression, very sleek. Um, it comes with two pumps, like I said, um, they're both in this, uh, they both come with the order. So you don't have to buy two separate ones, it comes with two. And then um, on the inside, it's got a piece of paper, just says pumping reimagined, so. And um, I didn't realize this until I was watching a video earlier. It's magnetic, which is really cool. So it just kind of like pops together. There's no, you don't have to like snap it together or anything, which is really neat. 
So there's that. Um, there's a quick start guide uh, that's got a lot of good information in it. Um, it comes with 24 of the bags, so uh, you can go ahead and get started even if you didn't order bags initially. Uh, they do include 24 um, bags, and they're four ounce bags, so that's good to note. Uh, they've got a bigger book with more instructions, so there's the quick start guide and then the big instruction manual. Um, it's got one uh, charger, like I talked about. Um, I guess I can turn it here. Two little brushes for cleaning, and then these um, flex tubes or flexi tubes, I believe is what they're called. So, um, and that is everything in the box. So, what I will do is uh, I need to sanitize it before I pump. Um, so, I will go do that and then uh, I'll pump and then I'll come back and give a first impression. So, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Okay, so first impressions of the Willow Pump. I've got kind of a mess in front of me, but um, it was pretty easy to use. The um, instructions in the app and in the little uh, get started book were pretty easy to follow. Um, with I, I just used the bags this time and I was able to get um, a little over two ounces and then around four ounces in um, each bag, well in one bag and then the other. Um, like I said, it was pretty easy to put together. I just used the bags this time, so whenever I do my full review, I'll uh, go through the, um, what are they called? Milk containers. Uh, I was reading in the instruction manual also that the uh, milk containers, you can't lean all the way forward, but you can move around. Uh, if you lean all the way forward or lay all the way back, then they leak. So the only leak-proof option, completely leak-proof, is the um, bags. But um, I think that the uh, milk containers will be a reasonable option as long as you're not bending all the way over. You'll still be able to move around and do stuff. So um, like I said, it was pretty easy to... Um, Place, and then the suction was pretty comfortable from what I could tell I wanted to show you the pump that I've been using so this is the spectra um, well this is 9 plus uh, so it has you know the regular um, milk containers and flanges and you have to wear like a bra uh, attachment to move around or use your arms or whatever um, so like I said, it was much easier because it just sat in your um, it just sat in your bra, uh, and um, I was able to move around and do whatever I wanted. I rearranged one of my cabinets, and I didn't have any leakage. Now, the tricky part, I would say, the most tricky part is the flip to finish. Um, so because of this little container here, and then the um, flex tube, you have to like. You have to like turn it towards you and then like tip it and it like gulps the um, milk. And I still had a few drops and I still actually have a little bit of milk in there, just like a drop or two. There wasn't a ton that was wasted, um, but it will take some practice probably to get that perfected. So um, overall, I would say it's a really great product. I enjoyed it. It was like I said, really comfortable. It sat in my bra. The only thing is, it is really quiet too. That's another thing that I wanted to say. It's very quiet. Now, it's not so quiet that I think I could like go in and see patients while wearing it, but um, I could definitely like sit at my desk and pump uh, without it interfering with phone calls or dictating or, you know, I could um, pump in front of family Um so my husband, whenever I'm at my husband's uh, family's house, I usually go somewhere and pump by myself because obviously it's kind of awkward to sit there and pump in front of my in-laws. But um, I would be able to do this uh, once I got it hooked up because you do have to like place the flange first 
and with the bag in there and then you attach this piece so once I got it hooked up um, I could go hang out and do whatever I wanted to do with uh, his family or you know at work or whatever so um, yeah I think that is pretty much it uh, like I said, it was pretty easy to set up because the instructions were pretty easy in the app. The app was really easy to use. It was easy to pair them. Um, it was easy to adjust the suction with these little buttons. Uh, it did take a little bit of practice to, you know, you have to really press it up against your breast whenever it's starting to um, latch. Uh, because there is a suction, it does create suction, which holds the uh, pump on your breast. So uh, it's kind of like uh, your baby, you know, they suction on there and then to break the suction, you have to, you know, place your fingers between the flange and your breast, just very similar to whenever you break the suction, uh, whenever your baby is eating. So um, I'm happy to answer any questions in the comments if anybody has any. Otherwise, I will definitely check back in and talk to you more about my experience once I've used it for a little while. Um, and I can give like a full review. But this was a fun uh, first impression. And um, I'm excited to get to use it some more. So I hope you guys have a great day.